Finally, it's ready to go. I've already had it out a couple times, but it's always good to check. Check the tire pressures once in a while, especially when the temperatures are changing, like springtime. This morning it's 25 degrees outside. And uh, it's supposed to get up to the low 40s, which is good. We've had a lot of rain, so no salt on the road anymore, thankfully. It's good to check the oil. I know people will tell me, well, there's no puddle under it, so it's got to still have oil. You never know. Check your lights. A lot of times people don't even look back to see if their brake lights work. It could easily have a switch went bad or something, you know. So just look it over. Make sure it's ready to go. And here's the biggest tip. When you're showing up to a ride with a group of people, show up with a full tank of fuel. All right. It's kind of crazy. I got three cameras. I think I'm doing a little too much, but I want to try a couple things out. I got my 360 camera there. I don't know if I'll use it during the ride or not. I might check it out when I get there, see how the the view is on it. And then I got my GoPro 7, which it's always been pretty trusty. Although the last time I took it out, after four minutes, it just stopped recording for whatever reason. Battery was full. Memory card was basically empty. So I kind of lost a lot of footage on that. But I got my Hero 10 on my helmet hooked up to the mic. So... I don't know, I got it on wide angle. We'll see how it looks. It's hard sitting in this style of bike because that fairing is like just, that's all you see is the fairing and it's hard to get it up high. And if I put this camera on top of my helmet, the wind resistance is so much, it feels like it's yanking my helmet back. So we'll see how it goes. But we're gonna take back roads, get into the dealership, I think. No sense taking the interstate and having all that wind it's a beautiful day it's just cold I think the last I looked let's take a look just for kicks 37 yeah I think the last time I looked at it was 27 that was probably an hour ago so it is what it is right I keep forgetting it's Friday I think it's a Saturday I haven't had a day off in a while and it's kind of nice. Ooh, look at that guy sneaking up behind me. I was gonna turn left up here. Get his attention a little bit. Make sure he knows I'm turning left. Okay, we're good. All right.
got everybody together. Hopefully the lights work for us. I'd say that worked out okay. Hopefully they stay green. I don't know if they will. That worked out excellent. Second one turns red. So I don't do a lot of group rides, but when I do, I try to remember some of the important things like the accordion effect. When you take off quickly, you spread the group out and people will tend to accelerate quickly as well. And then all of a sudden, as fast as you all separated, everybody will come back together like an accordion. And you have to try to minimize that effect with slower accelerations which is extremely difficult for me. I haven't uh, quite got that uh, technique down, so I tend to get some complaints from people in the back. They're like, you're driving too fast. I get it. I typically do the speed limit. This bike does have cruise control, and if I know the speed limit, I'll usually set it right on the speed limit. But I tend to get to the speed limit fairly quick. It's just uh, an old habit of you know, the, all the times of riding by myself. This is my favorite part too, roundabouts when you got everybody with you. I think we'll just yield for this guy, of course. Should be good. Yeah. Did you get cold? A little bit, my fingers are getting cold. Yeah. 